Dear friends and followers, welcome back to my channel and greetings from the Airbus A320 simulator at the TFC Flight Training Center here in Essen, Germany. Today's video will all be about the Airbus side stick, so let's get started. First and most importantly, don't ever call it a joystick. It is a flight control stick at the side of each pilot, so a side stick. The two side sticks allow the pilots to control the aircraft manually, both in pitch and roll. They are not linked mechanically, but simultaneously inputs by the captain and the first officer are summed up. Not many people actually know that. The sum is limited by the maximum deflection by a single side stick and dual inputs will cause both green side stick priority lights to flash up and a continuous oral warning dual input. will sound. It is very important for both pilots to be clear about who has control of the aircraft because there is no direct feedback or artificial feel system like in your PlayStation joystick or similar sort. Except for a simple spring centering device which will neutralize the side stick when it is released. On ground, after the first engine is running, the side stick position indicators come into view on the PFD. The white corner indicates the limit of side stick travel, while the white cross indicates the actual side stick. This is pretty useful for checking full side stick movement before takeoff, but it doesn't indicate the actual control surface position. Therefore, you would have, have to go to the ECAM flight control page to check for the surface position of the given input. The side stick has two switches, a dual function autopilot disconnection switch which can also be used as a priority takeover push button and it is laid out that your thumb rests comfortably on it. At the forward part of the side stick is a communications push to talk switch to be used with your index finger. Whenever you engage the autopilot, a solenoid operated detent locks the side stick in a neutral position which can be heard and felt by a distinctive click. If necessary, the detent can be overridden with sufficient pressure to unlock the side stick which will also disconnect in the autopilot, but I wouldn't recommend that because you would immediately get the plane into an excessive roll or pitch rate. The normal method is to disconnect the autopilot by pressing the autopilot disconnect push button and then you will get a confirmation that the autopilot is disconnected by a triple cavalry sound. A pilot can take full control and deactivate the other side stick by pressing and holding his priority takeover push button. If it's held for at least 40 seconds, the other side stick is then deactivated. And each time a side stick priority is taken, an audio message priority right, priority left is heard. In addition, the side stick priority lights on the glare shield comes active. A red arrow in front of the pilot indicates that his side stick has now been deactivated and the other pilot is in control. Now you might ask, why is there such a function in the first place? Primarily, if one of the side sticks has a failure, like not returning back into its neutral position, keeping the plane in a constant roll or pitch attitude, and therefore a green light, either captain or first officer, is displayed in front of the pilot who has control. I hope you enjoyed this basic introduction video of the Airbus side stick and make sure to watch the upcoming videos on the A320 system knowledge. Thanks a lot for the support by TFC providing me with this amazing flight simulator. Make sure to check out their website for more details about their flight school programs and see you latest next week. All the best, your Captain Joe.